guys, what's going on? Apple SDK Dev here. Uh, today, tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to have your Xcode project. Basically, I'm going to teach you how to use multiple views and make you being able to access the different views through just the click of a button. So yeah, I'm going to get started then. It's just a sec. Before I continue, um, just go get some of my apps in the App Store. I got two right now. I got Space Jump and the Pathetic Quiz. You can search them in the App Store. I'll put the links in the description. I'm planning on releasing a couple, uh, maybe one or two more soon. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting them ready right now, but hopefully they'll be up soon. It's actually an application that actually walks through the steps, and it has like pictures and everything, teaching you actually how to make a calculator application for the iPhone or iPod Touch, etc. Alright, so I'll do all that. Thank you very much. Check out my website, www.applesdkdev.com. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open up your Xcode. When you're here, I mean, uh, you can name whatever you want. I'm going to start a new project, uh, make it a view-based application. Uh, you can name it anything, or you can be adding it onto a project if you already have something in mind. But I'm just going to call it Test View, save it to my desktop, make it nice and easy. No big deal. I'm going to go ahead and open up the window. Now, the first thing we want to do, open up all your classes. If you're running on really anything, I'm just going to go 4.2. It's already there. I'm not going to change anything. And the first thing we want to do is go into our classes. And when, uh, when you have class uh, classes highlighted, go ahead and hold Control and or right click if you have a mouse, and go ahead and add new file. And when you're here, you can be choosing through all of these things. They give you a lot of different options, but we actually want to go to UI View Subclass. Oh, sorry about that. You want to go to UI View Subclass and make sure you check off with XIB. So that's actually giving you the view in the interface builder. Assume obviously if you're doing it for the iPad, click off the iPad. None of us are really going to need this table view one. That's if you have like a much more complicated um, project. Once you got that, go ahead and save it. Now, relatively, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it um, T2, so I don't know, whatever, test 2. But um, something important, just make sure you write view controller at the end of it. Because as you can see, um, before I called the test view, it actually made it test view view controller. I know view view is kind of weird. But yeah, you got to make sure it has view controller at the end because that's how we're going to initiate it to being able to change between them. Once you've done that, go ahead and finish. Put some right in your classes. You can go ahead and drag the actual XIB down to wherever you want, back to your resources where the rest of them are, I guess. And now we're going to go ahead and get started. Now this is some pretty simple code, but you just got to follow carefully and you'll be all set. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the uh, well, the original viewcontroller.m folder. And when you get to the bracket, go ahead and enter twice. Dash, IV action. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to go next because, I mean, it's going to be next. Uh, that's all you need for right there. You go ahead and save it. Now we're going to go into our um, .m viewcontroller now. Still that first same file. And right here we're going to head and go, we're going to import another file. So number, import. Uh, and we're going to go in quotes. And now you're going to type in whatever you call the other one, whatever you all call the other view controller, dot H. So you're going to implement that folder. Now, um, right under here, go ahead and enter twice. Now you're going to start off just the same exact way you did in the um, dot H folder. you got to do IB action. you got to call it the same exact thing. So next, go ahead and enter twice. Now I'm just going to paste in this code that I already wrote because, I don't know, it's kind of simple, I guess. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, T2 view controller space I'm gonna call this one T2 oh whoops I for sorry guys I forgot to put in my brackets right here we gotta go ahead and put in that first one um sorry so then this one's gonna be T2 or this is um so as you can see right here you have to put in the view controller right at the end of it this time you're just gonna do whatever the name was you're gonna skip out on the view controller right here I'm gonna put in T2 view controller and right here right after those and put in just T2. So just make sure you can tell the difference. These two right here, you're going to have to put in like T2 or whatever you called it, then the view controller. But for the other ones, you're just going to skip out on that. You're not going to put in them. Just go ahead and close it off and you're all set. Now we're all set. We're going to go into that first view controller. Um, we're going to make it nice and simple. I'm just going to drag in that one button. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't even matter what you've done in your code. But I'm just going to call it next because that's what I did before. Hold on control, drag it to file zoner, and click next. Simple as that. That's all you got to do. Save it. Now I'm going to actually do a little bit extra. Technically, you had just moved it, so if we build and run, you'd be able to transfer to your other, just to the other view. But I'm just going to go ahead and make it so the other view can also bring you back to that one. So basically, now we're just going to do the same exact thing almost, but um, we're going to do it in this next one. So I'll do another IB action, and this time I guess I'll just say back. So other than the next, this one's going to say back. 
Um, this time, instead of importing the T2 view controller, as it says right here, we're just going to go ahead and import the test view, or whatever you would call it originally. Test view view controller.h. I'm going to go ahead and copy that uh, code from right here, just because I guess I'm too lazy to do it again. And the twice. And now we just got to make a couple edits because we have to make sure it's going to the right one. So this one's going to be test view. And as you learned before, instead of t t test view view controller, this one's just going to be test view. I'm sure you could have figured that out. You guys are pretty smart. Test view view controller. And lastly, test view. Pretty smart. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're just going to finish it up. We're going to go into the test uh, the T2 view controller. Make that just a little bit different than the other one. You'll be able to tell because the other one had a gray background. This one's going to have a white background. So you can really tell the difference. Also, I'm going to title this one back, unlike I titled the other one next. Let's go ahead and uh, right click that, drag it to Advanced Files Owner, uh, whatever you called it. There it is. That's about it. Uh, that's all you guys really need. Of course, you should try implementing this code into projects you've already been working on because, I mean, that way you can make some really awesome applications. So don't just stop right here. Make it look nice and cool. Make If you got a great idea, that's perfect. Leave some comments. That'd be awesome. Go ahead and make sure you're running on everything. I'd suggest going to the simulator first, just trying to test it out. But if you go ahead and build it and run, it should work out perfectly. Let's go ahead and try that. Just give it a minute to load. I mean, first time, I guess. Whoa, what did I do wrong? Oh, no. Oh, whoa, that was really weird. Completely forgot to write in the IB action. Yeah, guys, don't forget that. And this one, this is the T2, so it's just going to be back. Sorry about that, guys. Now it should work out. Yep, there it is. It's loading in the uh, simulator. Give it a minute to load up. It's the first one, so it usually takes a couple seconds. But once it loads up, it should work out perfectly, and we should be all set. Alright, so as you can see, it just loaded. We got the status bar. We didn't hide or anything. It's on portrait. We didn't make it um, landscape or anything. But if I go ahead and click on next, it takes me to another one. So as you can see the difference, black and white. I mean, well, gray and white. It says next right now. I'll go to the next one. I click on back. It takes me back. It's as simple as that, guys. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Hit me up with some feedback. Email me at zach at appleSDKdev.com. I'll put my email in the description. Check out our site, www.appleSDKdev.com. Uh, that's about it. Hit me up, guys. Thank you.